brings you the divisional round of the NFL playoffs. It's the Packers and the Niners. All that and more coming up next. It was a frequent sight in the 80s and 90s, and it's continued on till today. Playoff football in the Bay Area as we welcome you to Levi Stadium in Santa Clara. Coming up, we've got an ultra-important divisional round matchup in the NFC as it'll be the Green Bay Packers taking on the San Francisco 49ers. Hello, everyone. As the postseason continues here on EA Sports, we're pleased to bring it to you. Alongside Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon. And who has the edge here? You got one side that had some extra rest, but another comes in off a win last week in the wild card round. The first of four berths in the conference championships on the line here as divisional weekend in the NFL is underway. And he'll get it up across the 20 to the 21-yard line. Six foot four inch Jordan Love taking the field for the first time. The 2020 first round pick from Utah State set to lead Green Bay. It wasn't really his best performance of the year in the wild card round last week. He just had the one touchdown pass, but he got the job done and his team advanced. For them to continue on to the championship round, though, he's going to need to take a few more chances with the ball downfield, push it a little bit more, and make sure his team finds its way into the end zone a few more times. Now this will leave him a yard short. Nice pickup of nine yards on first down. Ball on the 30 now. Here's second down at a yard. On the counter, here's Jones. And he's able to get out to the 32, brought down there. Two yards on the pickup, and that's all they needed to move the sticks. Again, it's Jones to about the 35, second down. As you see, they have dealt with their fair share of injuries this season, but uh, Charles, that hasn't stopped them from putting together a very solid campaign, a very good record thus far. I think a lot of credit has to go internally. Like, we always want to praise the head coach for holding the team together, but to me, it's the guys in the locker room putting on the uniform. Those starters who have stayed healthy, They've welcomed the backups into their ranks and showed them how to get it done. And this team, they've stayed afloat all season doing just that. Pass taken in by his big tight end. And he's going to have a Packers first down by a couple of yards as they're able to convert here on third and three. Love going to give this one to Jones. And he gets forward up the middle, but only for a couple. It'll be second down. Defensively, we always know that he is tough in run support. And I think the way that he gets there is he understands what an offense is going to do before the ball's even snapped. A great job of scouting prior to the game, then reading, reacting, and taking the right path to the ball carry. Eighth play in the drive, fourth coming, and they need eight yards on third down. Love. Pass caught. It's Romeo Dobbs. And this will move the chains again as the tackle's going to be made at the 49ers 40. Just three catches in the wild card victory for him a week ago. And now he's got his first here, and it's good for a first down. Solid opening drive so far, Charles. They've moved this football into field goal range, but you know that they want to cap this off with six and not three. Absolutely. As one of the better coaches in the league always tells me, on offense, I want to throw body blows all game long and finish it with uppercuts. Well, here are the body blows right now. He's hoping to run uppercut will take care of the end of this drive. Now, meanwhile, a pass that should have been intercepted, but it winds up falling incomplete. On second down, it's Jones. They'll wind up getting four down to the 36. That second down play call was not to pick up the first down. It was to accomplish what they did to get them into a manageable third down because they had incompletion on first down, so they were behind the sticks, so to speak. They needed to make up some ground, and they did. Now a third down throw, but it misses the target incomplete. As defensive coordinators around the league tell me all the time, that throw is not for every quarterback because you've really got to drive the ball downfield. It's going to be a tight window for him to fit that one into. In this case, unsuccessful. 
He's got the first down and more than that. Touchdown! Jaden Reed, 36 yards. And the Packers are on the board first here in this division round matchup. Forget about the storylines of being intimidated in the playoffs on the road. I mean, that was pretty clinical right there. Yeah, they didn't treat it like it was a playoff game in January, did they? No. That felt much more like, hey, we're back in August, running a few August, drills August, in the practice August, field. August, they August. seem unaffected by what they're facing in this one. Carlson's extra point up and good. And that makes the score 7-0. So after the made field goal, here's Carlson to send it away. This taken in at the goal line. And they'll get him down inside the 30 at the 27. So here are the Niners now to get their first drive. Leading them out, someone who took the league by storm last year is the most famous Mr. Irrelevant ever from Iowa State. It's Brock Purdy. And he and his team, they were the beneficiaries of a first-round buy earned by a tremendous regular season. He'd been a little bit nicked up, so he could use the rest. And I'm sure his teammates felt the exact same way. But now it'll be interesting to watch their first few drives in this one. Because sometimes getting the rest is great, but sometimes you can hear a little bit of rest as well. Maybe they come out flat, and they can't afford that in the postseason. Play action, and now here's Purdy to throw it. Back to Debo Samuel for consecutive catches. And he'll be out of bounds just shy of the 40. Holding off it. Now they face a second and long following the holding penalty. Purdy off the play fake. That's to the sideline and incomplete. Charles already trailing by touchdown early. This offense, how imperative is it for them to get points out of this drive? Well, they feel like they have to go ahead and match because of what was already on the board against their defense. But I think even more so, you just want to avoid three and outs. You want to be able to stay on the... Oh, that's into a sea of bodies, and it's intercepted. Devondre Campbell, the linebacker, picks it. And they take possession of the football and have it at the 36-yard line. And I think this is a situation where a quarterback coach in the sidelines is going to talk to a signal caller and say, listen, it's third and long, and it's still early in the game. Let's not force things here. If we don't feel good about it, let's just check something down and pump the football. The Packers ready to take over offensively. And for them, maybe a little carryover from last week's game. They got the win on the road in the wild card round, on the road here again in the divisional round, but they're hanging tough. Hey, cue a little music, right? A little on the road again. I mean, this has been kind of the map. And this is caught. And they are able to stop him, but he does take it all the way to the two. It's a gain of 34. But they didn't ease into that drive right out of the turnover. They go for the big shot downfield and hit it. A lot of teams have that opportunity, but not every coach is going to green light that type of a play call. I love their aggressiveness. They'll send one of those two tight ends in motion. Jones will score. Touchdown, Packers. They've got to be thrilled on the road right now. Touchdown, turnover, touchdown, and quickly trying to make it 14 to nothing. Yeah, and mentioned it already. On the road, to be able to go into someone else's house and establish a start like that, obviously your confidence rises in a big way, and you're putting some doubt in their minds. Carlson on for the extra point. And it's good, and they have jumped out here to a quick 14-0 first quarter lead. Hardly any time taken off the clock there. Two plays, and they find the end zone for six points. The football will come out to the 25 as McLeod will not return it. San Francisco set to go on offense once more. And you work so hard during the regular season to earn that bye to go to the divisional round fresh. Well, maybe they're too fresh because they've come out here pretty flat. And how many times have we seen it? And let's go to other sports now. Let's go to basketball, baseball. Those ones where the playoffs are a series. And you see teams who were playing before versus the team that had the bye. 
and they take them on. And how many often does that team that had been playing before win game one? Right. Almost always, right? Feels that way anyway. But it's a one-shot deal like the NFL. That's critical because now you come in and you get the momentum. You can take them out in that one game, and it's over. And those other ones, that team at home usually gets a chance to recover, and they're usually the better team. Well, they better halt that momentum on the other side quickly, or this might be their last game. Work in the middle of the field. He's got a man complete. And he's going to have the Niners first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. You can almost hear the sigh of relief coming from their sideline and from their point on the field because this has been a tough start for them thus far. A much needed first down there. They needed something good to happen. Plays like that will continue to help them dig out of this hole. Now former six-round pick, it's Elijah Mitchell. And he'll manage to pick up about four at second down. And that was a quality play to start a new set of downs. That was simply an offensive line winning the battle up front and winning in a big way and giving their guy in the backfield a nice lane to hit. Another run, this time McCaffrey. And this will be taken across midfield and into Green Bay territory. Give him four on the carry, and it'll make this a third and about two. They'll come to the line, needing only two yards to gain the first here. That's caught by Werner, the tight end. And he is going to have a 49ers first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. If you're these receivers, you got to be ready because when he's going to throw it quick on that RPO, he's going to throw it quick. And this is why you spend time with your guy either in the offseason, during the week, the whole bundle. Because sometimes just telepathy. You both see the same thing, and he knows get the ball to him right away. And now a throw on first down there, but it's incomplete. Well, he certainly thought he had an open look beyond the first down marker to his receiver, but they just couldn't connect, and that will send them back to the drawing board. On second down, McCaffrey. And down inside the 35, he goes to the 32-yard line. They get seven out of that, so they're left with a third and three. Purdy looking to throw. That is caught. And he's going to have the Niners first down. And he was able to get it by play. A game of eight on third and three. We've seen quite a bit of the short passing game here early on first quarter, haven't we? We have, and I think it works a couple of ways for, for this team because, number one, you throw the short game until they stop it. And if they're not going to stop it, you keep throwing it, and occasionally you'll break a tackle and turn into a bigger gain. Also, if they start to creep up, start to pressure receivers, now you go over the top, take it deep, and now you get some of those big shots downfield. And it's complete in the end zone. Touchdown, 49. have cut it back within a score. Bouncing back nicely from that bad opening drive where he threw the interception. Drive number two leads him right down the field and into the end zone. So obviously his confidence was never lost. And now, of course, all scoring plays are reviewed, and I think they're going to take an extra long look at this one. They're taking a peek at whether or not those feet were in bounds, and obviously a big call here in the end zone. And not just the feet. How about the hands? How is the ball possessed while the feet are hopefully getting down in bounds? That's what they're trying to look at to see if it all comes together. So they called it a touchdown originally, and this will stay a touchdown after the video review. So they had it right. Moody good with the extra point, and that'll make our score 14 to 7. So the drive goes 75 yards, 10 plays. And the end result for the 49ers, a touchdown. Here is Wisnowski to boot it away following the touchdown. And they will wrangle it down a couple yards shy of the 30. And Green Bay getting ready to go as they take the field. And right now they're saying, hey, let's keep this going. Two drives, two touchdowns. Yeah, can't ask for a better start than that, can you? I mean, this is the way you practice it. This is the way you rehearse it. But right now, the play calling, they're locked in really well. Throw left side is complete on the diving effort. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. First down yardage on the first play of the drive, 14 yards. Throwing. Love. A short throw to Musgrave. 
And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. Through one quarter, 14-7 our score. The Packers with the football here to begin the second quarter. Back-to-back -back good plays have them on the move on first down. Love looking to throw it. And this one is going to be off the mark, too far out in front. And not a common sight, at least on this drive. A momentary setback, though, for this passing game that has been moving well this series. Good thing for them, though. Still two more downs to connect and try and pick up another first down. Love's throw finds its target, Dobbs. And a five-yard gain gets him to the 42. The offense on third down, they've been okay. Two for three thus far. This will be third and five. Here's Love. Oh, he had him. He was open, but he couldn't get it to him. It's incomplete. A good job in coverage there. They took away his top read on the play, so he went through his progressions and ended up settling on his running back who scored on their last possession. But the coverage held. It goes incomplete. And they won't risk defending a return here. That one's out of bounds, and it'll be spotted. Spotted at the 14-yard line. And San Francisco gets set to go here. A long drive last time out for this offense, Charles. If you remember, they started basically in the shadows of their own end zone, marched it down the field, and a lot of that was through the passing game. And, partner, as a former defensive back, I'm having almost a physical reaction watching what's happening right now. But let's give credit where it's due because they've done an excellent job moving the ball through the air. Secondary getting picked apart pass by pass. Obviously, they need to make some adjustments there on the back end. Yeah, because offensively, we know that they're not going to be shy about throwing that football. On first down, Purdy. And he'll protect himself at the end here as he winds up getting pretty decent yardage. The improv on the scramble there gets him six, and it'll be second down. Shotgun handoff now to McCaffrey. And he's going to have a Niners first down as he's got this up to the 40-yard line. Partner, those are back-to-back -back six yard runs, and if they're going to continue to get those types of plays, shoot, you just keep running the same stuff, don't you? Yeah, it was first and ten, then second and four. Now first and ten again. Now this time they'll throw it. Here's Purdy. That's complete. It's Brandon Ayu. And they'll get this well past midfield before being stopped just before the 35. That one goes for 24 yards. But one of the ways the quarterbacks keep all the receivers alive in a play, never lock in on any one guy. Make sure you keep your eyes moving, scan the field. And here he finds the open guy for a nice pickup. Purdy to throw it on first down. Throw right side is going to be caught by Samuel. And he'll be brought down on the 30-yard line after a gain of six. And the ball on the 30. Here's second and four. Purdy. Open man is Jerome Jennings. His first reception of the divisional round matchup, and it's good for a first down as well. Play action. Now Purdy. And this is caught. Jennings. Touchdown for the Niners. Jerome Jennings. A 24 yard touchdown. And the 49ers are an extra point away from drawing level. As a former defender, I would be angry as well. Could not get off the field. Well executed offensive drive. No matter what the defense tried, they couldn't stop them. Extra point try now for Moody. And we've got a good one brewing. We're all knotted up at 14. So this drive spans seven plays, and it's polished off by a touchdown for San Francisco. This one tied at 14 now as he sends this one away. And he'll be stopped up at the 25. The Packers offense set to go. And that 14-0 lead to begin the ballgame, well, that's gone now. Time to regroup. 
I think even up two touchdowns, they knew this wasn't going to be a walk in the park, and I think that's why we would see the head coach going up and down the sidelines telling his team, let's stay with it, let's keep going. It's almost like he knew they were going to make their run at them, and they have. As you said, let's see if they can regroup and get going again. Second and six, just inside the 30. Now Love. He has it complete to Christian Watson. Four catches for him in the wild card win a week ago, and he's got his first here, and it's a first down. Now a first down carry by Jones. And they've got it well across midfield, down to the 40 before it's all said and done. 54 yards rushing for him now as he has been strong here in the first half of this divisional round matchup. And when you get into the divisional round of the playoffs, this is where having the ability to run the football is such an advantage. The defenses, they're generally going to be tougher the further you go along. So if you can get something established up front, it's going to give you a great chance to move on. And they'll keep on the ground with Jones. And he gets this to the 35. Good for a gain of five. Brandon, five yards on that run. Let's get back to the huddle and make sure if you're a back, you spend time with your offensive line and give them credit. Hard to move those 300 plus pounders at the line of scrimmage, and they did for a significant chunk of yardage. They try to throw on second down, but this one is incomplete. They come up now third and five following the incomplete pass. Love now. He's going to let this go. Back of the end zone. And that will be incomplete. Well, they weren't scared to let it fly, but it falls to the ground and brings up fourth down. So off goes Love. On is Carlson for the Packer field goal. This will be kicked from the 42. It's a 52-yard attempt. And this one is right down the middle. And they take a 17-14 lead. So they're able to end that drive with three points in this one possession ball game. And ideally, you want to end every drive with points. Most quarterbacks would tell you, let's end it with a kick, right? A PAT, that's number one. Field goal you'll take. Punts, you really don't want to do that. In this case, they'll take the field goal and get prepared for the rest of the game. Out is their quarterback with this offense to take over once more. He's thrown touchdown passes on his last two drives as he begins here, first and ten. Purdy now to throw. And that is incomplete. Oh, the coverage a little too good there. And it's second down. Out of the gun, Purdy. That's to the right side, complete to Kittle. And he takes this up to the 40-yard line before being corralled. His first reception of the divisional round matchup, but it's good for a first down as well. Good strong throw and catch right there. And so far in this game, the alleys have been open for them to get completions, and they're taking advantage of it. Purdy's throw taken in by Samuel. Call it a gain of six on the play, and that'll make it second down. Purdy will look to throw again here. Packer pressure, and down he goes. Multiple players combined for their team's first sack of the game. Well, that's what they have to do more of defensively, not just getting sacks. We have to keep getting in his face, not let him get his feet set and deliver. He's been carving them up previously. Yeah, already has a couple of touchdown passes. About time they put a few grass stains on that jersey. Now throwing on third down there, but he cannot connect. That could be the stop this defense needed to get them back on track. They've been pretty well dissected by the offense here in the first half. After that possession, now they know that they can compete with this offense. Wisnowski on to punt as he sends this one away. We'll call it a 42-yard punt, three on the return. And it'll be Packer football here, first down and 10. Here's Aaron Jones in the offense trotting back out. And he's well on his way to a 100-yard game. He's already more than halfway there. We're only in the second quarter. And what I've always loved about running backs is they'll tell you, I had no idea how many yards I had. Right. Those guys have an innate <laughs> sense of where they are in a ball game and how many yards they've accumulated because you know they're always working towards 100. He's been working well towards 100 here. Second quarter action, two minutes to go on divisional round weekend. To pass, here's Jordan Love. Musgrave's got it out right. They only get five out of that quick slam, but that's good enough for a first. 
Many different ways to create space, but on that play, he did it with that big, wide body of his. Didn't get a whole lot of yardage on the play, but it did what it was supposed to, pick up a first down. And this will be a Packers first down as the tackle made just shy of the 40. Now, this is an example of breaking down a defense because on a lot of these runs, he's getting past the point of attack, and guess what he's doing? Forcing the secondary guys to have to make a lot of tackles. On first and 10, Love. Quick slant to Watson. And getting this just shy of midfield, they'll spot it at the 49. The Packers going to use one of their timeouts as they'll stop it with just over a minute to go before halftime. On the delay, Jones. And he's taken down at the 50 after a short gain of two. Well done to sniff that out defensively. He had it diagnosed pretty quickly. I love that description because diagnosed is perfect on that one. Read his keys, made the play, and he couldn't even get going moving the football. Now, meanwhile, a pass that should have been intercepted, but it winds up falling incomplete. From the midfield strike, they'll look to throw. Flush to his right, and he can't get rid of it. He's taken down. And the 49ers now going to use the first of their timeouts as the clock will stop with 34 seconds to go before halftime. Taking it about the 16. That'll go as a 42-yard punt, but a net of 32. They had a 10-yard return, and the Niners will go on offense first and 10. The Niners ready to go on offense for the final time of this first half. And with time quickly fading here in the second quarter, not sure how aggressively, offensively, they want to play this. I think we'll find out just how much they trust their guys in this situation if they decide to take a shot. Now San Francisco going to call their second timeout. So that means they're down to one remaining here as we head toward halftime. Now here's a pass on first down that's knocked away and incomplete. That certainly appeared to be a play call where they were just trying to make second down, second and short. I think they thought the coverage was off a little bit more than it was. Nice job there pressing up on it and forcing the incompletion. Another throw on second down, and this one incomplete as well. He's thrown one interception already, and that doesn't necessarily mean the rest of the game is going to go like that. But it does seem that he's a little bit off in his approach to this one. Yeah, it does, and that was a risky throw right there. Got to be careful about taking care of the ball, making sure you get back within yourself. I mean, those mechanics that they work on all the time, they're there for a reason. Kind of get back to those and maybe tamp it down a little bit. He's such a good route runner. Shows it there on third down. Very proficient and a good pass. And you know what I've observed over the years in the NFL? The better a route runner you are, the more confidence your guy's going to have in you to go to you in important times because he can trust you being in the right spot. And they connected there and picked up the first down. So a big play before the end of the half to get him into this spot, and they cash in with three. How about the one-two to the solar plexus on that one? The big play, the field goal, not much time left on the clock. That's the way to go into the half. So we've come upon halftime here in this NFC Divisional Round matchup as we send you cross-country to Orlando. Jonathan Coachman is there and has our EA Sports Halftime Report. All right, Brandon, thanks very much. This the first of four divisional round matchups coming up this weekend. We'll get back out to you guys in just a moment. But first, let's take a look ahead to tomorrow's other divisional round game in the NFC. And it looks like we've got a good one in store, as it's going to be the Tampa Bay Buccaneers matching up with the Detroit Lions. Meanwhile, in our game, we're set up for a terrific second half. So to find out who will advance to the NFC title game, Let's send it back out to Brandon God. All right, we thought Coach, this thanks. one would be a yeah, close both battle coming in, to make and we have not been disappointed. They're all even to this point. to this point. This has the feeling of a game that could go right down to the wire. Returning one mistake from his or one big play Ray could McLeod. turn out to be the difference. And all in all, a pretty solid return. You only got it to the 35. They'll mark him down officially at the 34. the 49ers offensive unit as they'll have it first to begin this third quarter. And CD, we are in for a very intriguing second half. This is what we wanted all tied. This is what 
postseason football is all about. It certainly is. And doesn't it speak to the parity in the NFL? Roughly half the teams that made the playoffs a year before miss the next year, get replaced. We know it's an any given Sunday mentality. Nothing's easy in the playoffs. But when you have your shot, they're eager to seize it. From the 38 now, here's a second down and six. Now Purdy. He'll get this out right here to McCaffrey. And a gain of five. And that'll leave him with a third and just a yard. So they just need one yard here to pick up the first down. They'll try and pick it up with McCaffrey. And he gets it down to the 48, enough for the first. 44 yards rushing for him now on just six carries to this point. I don't know about you, but that almost felt like old-time football there. Third and two is not necessarily just a running down anymore. A lot of times they want to throw the ball. They went back to the roots and powered forward and got the first down. And nothing much materializing there on the first down run. He'll get a couple, and that's it. Here's a second and eight. He's going to try and do this himself. And they will stop him after a fairly minimal pickup. He'll get two on the keeper, but it becomes now a third down. Here's Purdy. Got a man. That's IU. And this won't do it. He needed six. He only got halfway there. One hallmark of good defenses is understanding the game, understanding positioning, and tackling immediately in the secondary after catches. I think we just saw that on display right there. Got to him before he ever had a chance to think about turning it upfield. So here are the Packers now. They get set for their first possession of half number two. We have not seen much on offense here from either side these last few drives. We've hit a wall, so to speak. And have hit it hard, haven't we? Because the defenses right now, they seem to be a step ahead, don't they? Beating them to the point of attack, beating them to the punch. These offensive guys, they're tinkering like crazy. What's it going to take to get back on track? Yeah, both sides searching for adjustments. Oh, and this one that may need to go back to the drawing board. He's going to be swallowed up right away. First down, going to the air with Love. This is caught. It's Christian Watson. And he takes this one down almost all the way to the 30. Holding offense. So following the hold, they're in a bit of a hole here with a first and 20. After the penalty, it's Jones. And he's able to plow forward up to about the 29, just shy of the 30. Second and 11. To throw now. Here's Love. Short throw. He's got Kraft. And he'll be out of bounds across the 30-yard line. Four receivers in the package. Here's third and seven. Love looking to throw it. He gets that one complete to Ricks. And he's going to be taken down right at the line. No gain on the play. And that'll bring up fourth down. On now is the Packers punter as he's on to kick it away. And a fair catch signaled for and taken at about the 18-yard line. So possession goes over here on the punt. And that will come the offense as they take over. Purdy going to lead the 49ers to the line, first and 10 at their own 19-yard line. And he'll start by handing this off to McCaffrey. He pushes through a would-be tackler to get about three yards, second down. From the 22 now, here's second down and seven. Again, they run. Again, it's McCaffrey. Trying to find a lane, but instead he'll get back to the line of scrimmage. And no more. No gain on the play, and it's going to bring up a third down. Purdy will set up to throw it here. 
Pass taken in by his big tight end. And he is going to have a 49ers first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. We often hear the phrase sure-handed tight ends, and he certainly fits into that category. Plus, he's got a quarterback who goes to look his way when they need a big pickup. And on this play, he finds it for the first down. So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and 10. Up the gut, McCaffrey. And he's free going down the left side. It's a foot race. And he'll go down, but not before getting this inside the 30. 83 yards for him on the ground now, as he has been terrific here this afternoon. So now then, the big play has him all the way inside the 30 now, first and 10. Yards. I think he has to be saying to himself, how did that not wind up a touchdown? Remember, he just did the tip of the ball to cross the plane. It's not going to get there, but they're going to be set up in great shape with first and goal. Now a throw to the end zone on first down, but it winds up incomplete. Down this close to the goal line, first down. Surprised that wasn't a run. I am, and you know I'm old school. I want to run the ball on first down in this situation because second down, that gives me out of... And across the goal line, into the end zone, touchdown 49ers. Christian McCaffrey, a touchdown run there from a yard out. And the 49ers have moved down in front. Boy, we talk a lot about Christian McCaffrey and what he can do in the open field, and it's easy to gloss over how tough he can be to stop near the goal line. And he shows you just how tough he is on that carry as he takes it into the end zone. Moody good with the extra point, and they will take a seven-point lead. Here is Wisnowski to boot it away following the touchdown. And he's up across the 25 and down at the 28. Green Bay returning on offense, led by running back Aaron Jones. He's had a good performance, moved the ball effectively on the ground. Of course, he has the one touchdown. And when you're able to move it as effectively as you've described, that leads to finding a way into the end zone. And now he's just trying to do it for a second time. And of course, with that comes additional yardage. Yeah, looking for additional yardage. And again, that second score here in the third quarter. From the 33, here's second down and five. Here's Love. Slant around, he's got Dobbs. Give him a gain of five on the completion. And that's going to make it third down and less than a yard. Love. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And he's going to have a Packers first down, and he'll have it by plenty as they're able to keep the drive alive on third and inches. Now Love. And that one drops down incomplete. Good coverage there. Forced the ball free, and it's second down. On play action, love to throw. That's taken in by Watson. And he's able to get this one out closer to midfield across the 45. 49ers have an extra defensive back on the field. A nickel set for third down. Again, it's love. And he is going to be taken down. And that should be the final play of this third quarter. Nick Bosa able to get in there for his second sack of the afternoon. One quarter remains for a trip to the NFC title game. This is the National Football League on EA Sports. Back now here in Santa Clara. It's the Packers who have the football but in need of points as we begin quarter number four. On fourth down, the punt team is on as this is sent away. And this will be taken at the 13. Called out a 46-yard punt, though they did get nine back on the return. And they will take over first and 10. The 49er offense set to get this drive underway. And this has been a tight game to this point. Of course, they usually are. 
at this juncture of the playoffs. But with the lead in the football, the clock right now, their friend, as they try to book their spot in the conference championship next Sunday. And that's good for a pickup of 10 yards. And that'll leave him with a second and just a few inches left. Purdy now to throw. Shoves him aside. And Debo going to have a Niners first down as he'll get this up to the 39. So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and 10. Out of the gun, Purdy. And his throw is incomplete. Anytime a ball is thrown in the middle of the field is popped up in the air, I expect someone to catch. It doesn't matter whether it's offense or defense because there's usually a great amount of bodies in that part of the field. In this case, no one came up with it. From the shotgun to McCaffrey. And he'll lose yardage on the play back at the 37-yard line. It'll go as a loss of a yard, so now they deal with third and 11. And this is why the head coach gets paid the big bucks. Look at where they are in this situation, partner. Do you throw the ball here in a long-distance situation? Do you run it again and trust your defense and make sure you take care of the ball and punt it away? What kind of options do you have here, and what do you trust more on your team? Yeah, they may have just pushed him back into that throwing situation. We'll see. Call it a gain of three, and it'll bring up fourth down. Well, they got off the field on third down. An excellent job, an excellent defensive series. We always talk about adjustments, and usually only at halftime. But the best teams adjust series to series. And on that series, they adjusted so well that they got the job done in fine style. And on fourth down, on is the punt team sending this one away. And that one hits at the seven, but bounds into the end zone, and that'll be a touchback. The Green Bay offense ready to take over. And this could be the defining moment of their season, all hyperbole aside. You're trailing here in the fourth quarter, the divisional round. And they need to come up with something as they get this drive started. And he gets this one just shy of the 40. They'll mark him down at the 39. 113 yards rushing for him now as he goes over the century mark here in this divisional round matchup. Jordan Love ready on first down here. Open man is Musgrave, the tight end. Now he's going to get this down to the 35-yard line. And 26 big yards on that one. It's another first down. I like the design that we're seeing right there. This is what they need. Down by a touchdown here in the fourth. They just need to keep working their way downfield. And when they see openings, take their shots. So signs of life in what's been a dormant offense in this second half. Here's first and ten. To pass, here's Jordan Love. Short throw, he's got Kraft. And he'll be out of bounds as he gets it down to the 30 there. Second down and four. Play action this time with Love. That's complete to Dobbs. And this will move the chains again as the tackle's going to be made at the 49ers 14. 63 yards receiving for him now. And that last catch, good enough for a first down. Throwing. Love. They're going to give out a little applause on that play. It has to go to the defense. More good work by them. They've taken away the passing lanes all game long, and you can see the frustration that it's causing because he just about threw that one into the first row. And he'll fight his way down right around the 12. And hold on here because on that last run, it looks like we have a player who was shaken up. Well, now they're going to come out and take a look at this injury, and we'll be back in a moment. The Packers on third down. They've converted a third of their opportunities, three for nine. This is third and eight. Love now. He's got Watson. It's caught. Touchdown, Packers. A 12-yard touchdown grab. And the Packers are an extra point away from tying this game here in the fourth. And we are set up for a fantastic finish now. A fourth quarter touchdown here. We're an extra point away from a tie football game. And I know they're thinking about possibly going for two, but I'd go ahead and kick this one and just get it back to level. Now Carlson for the extra point. And we are tied. 
tied here in the fourth quarter. So that drives seven plays in length. Both these teams fighting for their playoff lives. All tied, fourth quarter, as the kick is away here. Ray Ray McLeod to return. The lane opens here. He's past the 30. And all in all, pretty solid return. Nearly got it to the 35. They'll mark him down officially at the 34. The San Francisco's offense returns to the field. And as a fan of the NFL, not much more you could hope for in this divisional round matchup. Tie game, fourth quarter. A lot of these fans with their hearts in their throats waiting to see what happens here. It's a six-yard gain on the ground, and that'll make it second and four. A six-yard pickup brings up second and four. They go play action here, Purdy. And this is caught, Jennings. And he has a big gain inside the 40 before being dropped. A gain there of 21 yards. That's what they have to feel good. It's not all the time that the play call should get all the credit. Sometimes I'm thinking the huddle the quarterback just says, hey, who's going to make a play for me? I just need something right here. And the end result there, nice first down. Drive keeps moving. On first down, this is McCaffrey. And he'll run straight into a wall of tacklers at the line of scrimmage. It's second down. They stay on the ground. McCaffrey again. And he'll take this one down to the 36. Call it about a gain of three, and they'll be looking at a third and seven coming up. So seven yards from the first down here as they come up to the line of scrimmage. Here's Purdy now on third and goal. Eluding the pressure right. And he'll hit the deck, but he did not get there. He opted to go with a scramble, gets two yards, and now it's fourth. Like any team playing, they're looking for touchdowns to try and help their cause. But in this case, he does get them a little closer, at least, if they think a field goal turns out to be the better call here. So here we go. It's Jake Moody now in a big spot. This to break our fourth quarter tie. And this one looks good. It is good. Right down the pipe. And they have taken the lead here in the fourth quarter. So the drive here ends with a field goal. It does give them the lead, but this one's still certainly a long ways from over. The devil puts a lot of pressure on your defense to hold the lead, right? They're happy to have it and happy to be out there trying to do so. But I know as a former player, in the back of their mind, they're thinking, why don't you score the touchdown and seal this thing? And he takes this near the 25, just a little pass there. Call it the 26. Here's Aaron Jones in the offense trotting back out. He's been a good workhorse. I know we use the word workhorse a lot, but he's been a good workhorse for him in this one. No doubt about it, and there's nothing wrong with that. That's what you're looking for if you're a back, because that means everything's coming together for you. The big guys up front have created space. You've run through it. You've probably got some help even from the wide receivers who want to catch passes as opposed to block, but they're helping out too. Yeah, everyone's pitching in. He's had a good game. First down, love to pass. He finds his man complete. That's Reed. And they're well past midfield, just a yard or two shy of the 40. And here we are in the fourth quarter, partner, and watch them drive for what would be a go-ahead touchdown. And you and I both know this is where you need a quarterback who can keep his cool back there, not just for himself, but to keep the rest of the team relaxed, too. Now here's a pass on first down that's knocked away and incomplete. Play fake. Here's Love. That's going to be caught downfield by Reed. And finally, down he goes as they work it inside the 10 to the 7. What a time to come up with a play like that. They are now in field goal range. But the opportunity is also there to try and win the game outright. Here we go, first and goal. Now Jones, and maybe a measure of revenge there. He's had his way in this one, but this time they get him behind the line. The short field shrinks even more with the type of bodies they brought in on that play. Those extra tight ends, they weren't able to secure their blocks, and that one ended up going backwards. Love looking to throw it. That's to the pylon and incomplete. Now we're in the situation where the quarterback's got to take full charge of his huddle. Got to totally command him, make sure all eyes are on him. 
all focus is locked in. Going to call multiple plays and go over different situations and scenarios to make sure everyone is up. He takes it across for the touchdown, and they've taken the lead late in the final minute of the fourth. Wow. What a game this has been, and what a drive that was, Charles, to take the lead here late in the fourth quarter. And, partner, that's a job well done by everyone, from the players to the guys calling the plays. And if I may introduce just one downside to the mix, might be a little bit too much time left. Enough on the clock for a final last-ditch effort to try and steal this win away. And able to take it past the 25 and up to the 28-yard line. So Purdy and the Niners down 31-27. A little over 50 seconds remaining. A touchdown likely means they move on in these playoffs. Tense moments for the hometown faithful as they've got it with a first down. To throw is Purdy. And oh, that one nearly intercepted. That would have sealed it. Instead, it'll be second down. Here's Purdy to throw. Finding Samuel. The 49ers now going to use the first of their timeouts as they'll stop it with just over 40 seconds to go in the game. Now throwing on third down there, but he cannot connect. With that incompletion, reality is staring them right in the face. This entire game is down to the next snap. Here it is, fourth and inches. Purdy to throw. And he'll be taken down, but he does have first down yardage. Now San Francisco going to call their second timeout. Here's Purdy. As the clock will stop with 35 seconds left to go. And he's brought down. Well, this offense still has the one timeout here, remember. First and ten. A throw there, but that's going to wind up incomplete. A couple extra defensive backs out there in the dime, and because of that, really not many places to throw the football, if any. And typically, what would you want to do against that dime? Run the football. You want to run the ball, but you can't do it in this situation. Not nearly enough time on the clock. You have to avoid navigate against a tough defense presented against you. And with just inside of 10 seconds to go, they'll burn their final timeout. Nine seconds left. Throwing there, but this pass is going to wind up incomplete. Down to their last chance now. This is going to have to be a heat for the end zone and just hope for a miracle. And I don't sit back with everyone back defending. I've got to have somebody rushing the quarterback. Don't make it easy for him to set up and throw the ball all the way downfield. And this is caught. For the moment, it's a touchdown, but multiple flags down, so let's sort this out. So obviously, they will decline the penalty there, and the result is six points. And the Niners will continue on as we say so long, everybody. That'll do it for us, for Charles Davis and all our hardworking crew. I'm Brandon Gaunt. You've been watching the NFL on EA Sports. For more, find us on Twitter at EA Madden NFL. The 49ers get the win here at home as we say so long from Santa Clara.